hello to all of my little dancers. I miss you all and I'm so excited to be here to do another pre-ballet class with you guys. So this class is for all of our A levels at 30A Ballet, A1, A2, A3, A4, and is it is an appropriate class for ages three to six. So anyone is welcome to do this um, that wants to take part. So everybody sit down. We're gonna put our legs out in the front and we're first going to do our points and our flexes with our feet just like we always start class. So get a comfy mat or something. Make sure before you start this that you have plenty of room to move around, guys, okay? Let me get our music. You guys sit down and put your legs out in the front and sit up straight and tall. Here we go. Ready? Sit up straight and tall. Nice straight back. Point your feet. Flex your feet. And point, remember, have your heels kissing. Flex. Sit up tall, point, flex, point, flex. Now point one foot and flex the other foot. So we're gonna alternate feet. Change, switch, feet, change. Really stretch your foot, point as hard as you can, guys. Change, change, change. Change, now point both feet. Remember your heels should be kissing. Remember I tell you guys every single class, there should be room for three fingers in here. Okay, everybody sit up tall like you have your crown on. Let's go ahead and put our crown on. That's a great idea. Grab your imaginary crown, put it on. You know what, today my crown is silver and diamonds and pearls and seashells. That would be so pretty. Okay, here we go. Now, flex your feet. Now, can you make penguin feet? Turn them out. And point, try to get your baby toes on the floor. Turn them in. Okay, now, everybody put your feet together. Let's do the magic butterfly. Everybody sit up tall. We have our crown on already. Ready? Sit up straight and tall. Okay, here we go. Fly. those wings guys okay land on a flower okay now today I think we're gonna land on a beautiful yellow sunflower okay here we go fly your wings like a butterfly guys fly fly okay land on a flower this time we're gonna land on a beautiful red tulip I love tulips fly your wings sit up straight and tall guys Make a straight back. Dancers don't sit like this. Dancers sit like this. Fly your wings. Okay, now try to get your knees all the way down on the, on the floor. Land on a flower. This time we're gonna land on a purple pansy. Fly your wings. Fly like a butterfly. Sit up tall. Sit up tall. Okay, land. Now this time we're not gonna land on a flower. We're gonna land on my puppy, Rosie on her nose. Land on Rosie's nose, everybody. Okay, fly your wings. Rosie's at home sleeping today, guys, because I have to go to the grocery store. Fly your wings. Land on a flower. Make those knees go down. Okay, this time we are going to land on a white rose. That would be beautiful. Fly your wings one more time. Fly your wings. Okay. Land on a flower. Now I want you to call out what color flower you're landing on. Ready? Okay, say your color flower. Okay, my color was hot pink. Can everybody push your knees down? Push them down, smush them down. Push gentle. Okay, now scoot your feet out like a diamond shape. Do you see? Here's your diamond shape. Okay, now everybody show me your forehead. Up here on the top of your face, that's your forehead. I want you to try to get your forehead right here on your feet and put your elbows down. Can you guys do that? Get your elbows down, forehead on your feet. Okay, sit up tall. Okay, now can everybody put their legs out in the front? Okay, now can we reach our arms up nice and round? Okay, your arms should be an oval, like an egg, not a circle, oval. Who can touch their nose on their knee? Can you get down there? Nose on your knee. Up. Sit up straight. 
straight and tall. Nose on your knee. You're down there. Up and remember, it's okay if you can't touch your nose on your knee. You just have to practice, practice, practice until you can do it good like Miss Allison, okay? Remember, don't let Henry the mouse go under your knees. You've got to keep your knees down. If you bend your knees like this to get your nose down, that's just called cheating, okay? So keep your legs pulled all the way down and reach up. Nice straight back. Stretch those feet. That helps if you stretch your feet. Try to get your nose on your knee. Stay there. Okay, shake all, shake your legs out. Shake them out, shake them out, shake them out. Okay, guys. All right, now we're gonna stand up and do our plies. I'm gonna keep my feet on my mat so that you guys can really see my feet really, really good, okay? All right, it'll be easier than on the black floor. All right, is everybody ready? Can everybody put their feet in first position? Here we go, ready? Stand up tall. Remember, we have our crown on. Don't lean over. Don't stick out your popo. Hands on your hips. Plie. Open a big window. And plie. Make your knees go out to the side. Straight. Remember, ballerinas make their knees go way out to the side on plie. So you have to make a big diamond shape right here when you plie. A big enough diamond so Rosie can jump through. Now count to four. One, and two. Remember, keep those shoulders down. Remember, don't stick out your popo. Three. Okay, now here's four. Four. Okay, now who can rise up on your toes and come down? Up, down. That's what we call releve. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Two more. Up, down. Up, down. Take a big breath. Over. Can you bend over and scoop up a big basket of flowers with your arms? Up. Scoop up your basket of flowers. Up. Okay, can you toss your flower petals in the air? And here they come. Float them like little flower petals. Bend your arms. Up. Now let's scoop up a big basket of snowflakes. We don't get snowflakes in Florida, do we? Up. Toss your snowflakes. Toss your snowflakes. Down. Flutter those arms down like little snowflake arms. Okay, now round arms. Plie. Straight. Plie. Make those knees go out. Straight. No popo sticking out. Remember, don't let your crown fall off when you plie. Plie. Straight. Two more. One. Remember, use your counting brain. And two. Okay, rise up again. Releve. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Now copy Miss Allison's arms. Front. Up. Both arms open. <gasps> now let them float down like little fairy wings. Fairy wings. Do it again. Front. And up. And open like fairy wings. One more time. Front. Up. And open. Now let's put our feet in second position. Remember, it's like somebody took a big bite out of our first position. Okay, now really don't lean over. Really don't let your popo stick out. Straight and plie. Push those knees out to the side. Remember, ballerinas do plies every day. This helps keep us in shape. Okay, now hook one arm up. Let's tilt like a teapot, pouring a cup of tea. Bend, stay, come up. Remember, just lean straight sideways. Don't do this, guys. Keep your elbow out next to your ear. Let's try that again, because I want to see. Everybody keep their elbow next to their ear. Bend. And up. Switch arms. Bend. Keep your elbow next to your ear, ballerinas. Up. Hand on your hip. 
good. Okay, now plies, remember your crown. Here we go, four plies. Count for yourself, I'm not gonna help you. Okay, now point. Let me see a beautiful foot, close. All right, now I'm gonna get off the mat because we're gonna do our tendus. That is where we go slide and uh, point, slide and uh, close. Okay, does everybody remember? Slide, point, slide, close. Now, we all know that all of these funny sounding words that I talk about in ballet class um, are French words. That's why they sound a little funny. So remember, plie means to bend. Releve means raised, because guess what? We're raising our heels and we're putting them down, right? Okay, now tendu means to stretch. So look, I'm sliding and then I'm stretching my foot and I'm stretching my knee as hard as I can. Now look, this is not stretching anything, is it? That looks like you're smushing a bug on my floor. Don't smush bugs on Miss Allison's floor, right? Right. Okay, so we're going to slide and everything, our leg, our knee, our foot should be nice and stretched, okay? So everybody listen up. First position with your feet, hands on your hips. We're going to do eight tendus going this way. That's our right foot. And then we're going to switch feet after we've done eight. We're going to do eight with our left foot and then close. And then we're going to do four with the right foot and four with the left foot. Now, I want everybody to turn on the brain, turn on the counting brain. I want you to count inside your head. I'm going to count with you, but I want you to really count, and I really, really want to see pointed feet and straight knees, okay? All right, here we go, dancers. Here it comes. Okay, eight with the right foot. So going this way. One and close. And two. Do you see how pointed my foot is? Close. And three. Remember, make sure your knee is looking up at the roof. Close. Four. So we've got to count four more, right? Five. Close. Six. Stretch that foot. Close, stretch this leg, guys. Seven. And eight. Now we switch feet. One. And close. Remember, you have to brush. Brush like a paintbrush. Now erase it. Erase it. Draw a line. Brush. And erase it. Pretend like your toe is a pencil. Now erase it. Four more, so this is number five. Close. Number six. Close. Number seven. Make your knee look up at the roof, dancers. We don't do this, we do this. Seven, we gotta do one more. Eight, because Miss Allison was talking. Okay, now wait, when the music comes back, we're gonna do four with this foot and four with this foot. Are we ready? Ballerinas do their tendies every day, guys. One, and close. Let me see super duper straight knees and super duper pointed feet. Close, two, close. Oh, that was three, sorry. Three, and close. Change feet.
wasn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, everybody. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're gonna do our marches on our tippy toes. Now, we know this is not how ballerinas march. Soldiers might march like that. I don't know, those are some lazy marches. What we do in ballet class, we get way up on our toes, way up on our releve, and remember, we march and point, march and point, march and point. So let me get up closer. Every time your foot goes up, that's what it should look like, okay? And your knee should be up here, not down here. Look, my knee comes up and my foot is nice and pointed and you have to stay up on your toes, okay? All right, so everybody scoot back away from your TV or your computer that, I'm, that you're watching me on and scoot way back and we're gonna march coming forward and then we're gonna clap. One, two, three, four, clap. Two, three, four. Now, if you run out of space, you can turn and go sideways or you can even turn and go backwards. Just four marches, four claps, okay? Turn on your brain again. You guys know you gotta count your big girls and big boys. Here we go. One, two, three, four. what you're in now to be level and you get the privilege of wearing a beautiful black leotard you have to know how to do your skips and your gallops and your marches on your tippy toes so everybody work on all that stuff at home okay because to move up into the big girl black leotard you have to know how to do your skips and your gallops and your marches okay all right um, next let's do our um, what should we do dancers I think we should do some jumps. Let's do saute and a chape. Okay? Saute. Who remembers what saute is? Saute is when we put our feet in first position, our arms are nice and round. Now remember, your, hand, your hands aren't up here, guys. 
your pinky fingers are down in front of your legs. They don't touch your legs, but that's how far down they are. See how pretty that looks? This doesn't look so pretty, guys. Okay, see my elbows kind of poking out? Round arms like an egg. Nice and round like an egg. All right? So, saute is when you jump high in the air and you point your feet while you're up there. So, you do a nice big plie and let my puppy Rosie go through your window. Now, you've got to push off the floor and point your feet. Point. Okay? So, your legs have to be stretched and your feet have to be stretched and pointed when you're up in the air. So, try to, try to maybe imagine while you're up in the air, you have to really point your feet and have your knees straight because somebody's going to take a picture of you. And you don't want your picture to look like this. Right? You want your to picture to look like this. Straight knees and pointed feet, okay? Um, and then we're going to do a chape, jump out and jump back in. Are we ready? Here comes some good jump music. Plie. Saute. Big plie. Push. Saute. Now jump out, jump in. A chape. Jump. Close. Plie. Jump. Point those feet. Point. Jump. working on changement. Now, all of my little bitty guys, my three, four, five-year-old, three and four-year-olds, I don't think you guys can do this, <laughs> but my five and six-year-olds and seven-year-olds, you guys are supposed to be working on changement at home, remember? We remember what changement is. That's when we close this foot in front in fifth position and we plie and we go push off the floor Jump change, jump change, okay? So right now for my A3s and my A4s, I want you guys to try eight changements. So everybody put one of your feet in front in fifth position, doesn't matter which foot you have in the front, hands over your hips, don't lean over, plie, push off. You're gonna jump and change feet. One, two, make a big plie, three, big plie, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you guys try that at home often. Okay, that'll help you get those changements and you'll be ready for next year when we come back to ballet class. Okay, um, now, I hope that all of you guys have been eating your fruit and your vegetables. Um, let me tell you, I planted a garden this year, guys, and I have squat, yellow squash, red bell peppers, two different kinds of tomatoes, and cucumbers that I'm growing, and they're doing so good. I will take pictures when I have pictures of all of my beautiful vegetables that I'm growing and um, show you guys on the internet, okay? Um, I want all of you guys to try to stay healthy and stay well and all of that, okay? One last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do two little stretches. We're gonna sit back down, put our legs back out in the front because now our muscles are all warmed up. So I want you guys to try this stretch again. Point your feet, keep your knees down. Here we go, over, get your nose underneath. See how I'm grabbing under my feet and pulling? That's a great way to do it, guys, pull. Stay down there. 
Okay, now put your feet back in the butterfly position. Push your knees down, push them down, push them down, push them down. See, now your muscles are all warmed up. You'll be able to stretch better. Okay, now, you guys all remember the frog stretch we have been learning in ballet class? Okay, that is when we all lay on our tummy and we pull our feet up and our knees up like a frog. Okay, now, your hips have to stay down on the floor. If your feet are up here, that is okay, all right? I want you to work really hard to try to get your feet down like Miss Allison, but keep your hips and your tummy down and your popo tucked in. You can't have your popo sticking out. Your popo has got to be down where it belongs. This is a good way to watch TV or read a book or do your homework, guys, okay? So stay in your frog position um, while you watch maybe one of your favorite TV shows, okay? All right, everybody. It was great getting together with you guys today. I want you all to practice everything that we do in ballet class, all right? And um, I am hoping I get to see you in about two more weeks. I think we might be able to have a ballet class here in the studio in like two weeks. And if you haven't signed up for summer camp, um, please get your money to do that. We have ballet fairy camp and we have tutus and tea parties camp, okay? So I love you guys, I miss you guys, and I want you all to practice and do your stretches, practice your marches, your gallops, and your skips, okay? I love you guys and I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye.